Hey guys, welcome back. It's Maverick here with another episode of Apare Landman. So, last episode, shit hit the fan, right? We got Gil finally revealing his true identity, and boy, he was a monster, uh, both in the, um, in the fighting sense and in his, in terms of his actions, right? Uh, nobody could go up against him, and in fact, he maybe fatally wounded Kusume. Uh, I'm not actually entirely sure there. Now, generally, I don't like to watch um, any kind of uh, after ending scene unless it should be part of the the episode at hand because I don't like to watch the preview scenes, right? I don't like to get spoiled as to what's going to happen next episode. So I didn't watch it to the end. Some of you guys mentioned that there was a little bit more. It wasn't quite an after uh, ending scene per se, but they, they showed a little bit of uh, the aftermath of what happened at the end of last episode. And it seemed that Kosume, you know, with with a white sheet over his head, over his face and all that, it seems he might be dead? I, I honestly don't know. If it is, then I gotta say I am truly shocked because this is not a series where I would consider um, where I would even consider them actually having the guts to kill off a main character, right? That really, really, really happens um, even in you know, unless it's a, a grim dark series in of itself. So we'll have to see, right? Um, well, let's just get into it right now and see what exactly happened to him. All right, let's begin in three, two, one, play. <clears throat> like I can understand killing off um, some key supporting characters or whatnot, but. It's very, very rare that one of the main cast would be killed off. Well, if they can still st say stuff like that, I don't know. I, I don't think he's dead. Honestly, I don't. I really don't feel like that. The way that the series has been going so far. I, I, I honestly don't feel that they would pull something off like that. Right? If he was dead, then actually starting off with, with that sort of uh, recap and then this opening, that'd be very disrespectful, man. Alright, you guys get what I mean? So, no, I don't believe so. And mind you, I'm not actually one of those guys who, who would be, like, outraged that one of the main characters were killed, right? Like, I know it's kind of harsh to say, but I do feel like sometimes... You know, not every work has the balls to do something like that. All right. Come on, Apare. Use your brain. Oh, it's the brother. He'll be fine.
Well, you losing your shit over Gil wasn't quite logical either, dude. <laughs> What do you know? Humans have emotions. Alright, who's going to be the one to cheer him up? <laughs> and now these two are buddy-buddy. Why was it always these two together? I thought it was the thousand seven.
So they're going to take things into their own hands, eh? Uh, he's a little bit in bad shape right now as well. Right, like I said, who's going to snap him out of it? Hmm. Or is he going to snap himself out of this? This might actually be the first time he cried. Hmm. Something happened to go somewhere? He's conscious? I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it doesn't. 
if he was actually dead, Hotuzo would not be the one that was running like that to find a party. Okay, so I guess Kusume, that was that was what I was thinking actually. Kusume is actually going to be the one who snaps them out of it. The party's going to be like, let's withdraw from the race. We shouldn't do this anymore. And Kusume's going to be like. What the hell are you talking about, Apare? <laughs> Here we go. Well, yeah, we just take it for granted right now, but no, that's probably new technology then. Uh, we almost, <laughs> almost forget that this is in the 1900. Yeah, why are you talking about the race right now when there's hostages? I'm back!
We'll build a bridge. <laughs> oh. So are you doing this in a day? Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh. In any case, see you guys after this. Well, 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 that, um, uh, that indeed was a troll by Kosume at the end there, so the so-called death of Kosume never really happened, he's fine, and, like, I am not surprised at all. Uh, I never even believed that he would be dead, or even close to dying, even, ba even back in last episode. And even if I did see that scene, uh, back then, I still don't think I would actually believe that until I actually saw it, because... You know, with what we've seen from this series so far, it's ridiculous, it's a comedy, etc, etc. It, it's not just the sort of series to kill off a major character that way. And not only just a major character, Kosume is actually part of the main cast, right? There's no way that a series like this would, would do something like that. Even even in other series, like even in Grimdark series or whatnot, or, or a series that, that go a little bit more darker and do actually have death and whatnot, at most, at most, I've... Um, the 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 um you know the standard is killing off a major character right but definitely not that of a main cast like if it was actually say for instance Sophia or Al on the brink of death then maybe maybe that would that would have a chance of happening Kosume no chance at all right um I I understand that this is maybe kind of going through it from a little bit more of a meta perspective um and some could argue that this actually uh lessens the enjoyment of the series but uh I feel like you know if if you're actually watching this series right now you're probably pretty engrossed in watching anime or reading manga in general right this is not exactly the most popular series and whatnot so I'm sure that most of you guys probably know what to expect from a series like this already 
Um, so yeah, I'm not really surprised at all by by that. And not to mention, if it were, if it actually were the fact that Cosme or someone had died uh, at the end of last episode, the beginning of this uh, of this particular episode would have been super distasteful. Like, um, if if there was actually a character death, I would be completely um, completely uh, raging on at, towards the director right now because you know with the with the opening with that sort of high energy recap and then also having the opening which is also a higher uh, you know more of a high energy opening as well completely distasteful if there was actually a character death so you know both both just from knowing what a series actually is as well as some clues from how this episode actually opened you know, that that's that right uh, I, I don't want to. I don't want to make it seem like ah, I told you so kind of thing. But I just want to say, oh, this is my thought process as to why I don't think I don't believe that a series like *A Pirate on Men can actually kill off a main character, a main cast such as Kilsame. But anyways, anyways, disregarding all that. Um, so pretty much went as I expected as well. Uh, I, I probably I shouldn't say that. Uh, I mean, anyways. So it was an episode of healing, right? And we do see Apare, more of his human side coming out, if you will. And that's definitely a good thing. Uh, it's been hinted at quite a few times throughout the series where he's gradually learning what it is to be human and, you know, people are swayed by emotions and not just by logic, right? Um, and uh, you, you can see that sort of conflict within him there uh, while he's trying to balance these two. Honestly, I feel like they didn't explore it enough. Maybe it's a case where this um, this anime is rushed, so they didn't have as much time to go through that entire thing, you know, go through Apari's entire thought process. But it was indeed great, right? And seeing him break down like that uh, in the middle there, um, you know, again, it might sound kind of heartless, but I think that was a good thing, right? It actually... Uh, I feel like for Apare, that's uh, a needed sort of recognition of his own emotions and how the world is not just, um, you know, a, like a series of ones and zeros. It's not like a, a computer program or something like that, right? Um, and you know, human emotions are not always the most uh, logical of things, but and that is indeed something that's going to help Apare grow, right? Uh, we, like I said, we, we've seen before in um, like a few episodes past, uh, Empire was already questioning about the logicalness of the situation and whatnot. And hey, fun, fun, funny that it was also Cosme that um, that brought him to recognize this. And they actually touch on it a little bit from this uh, in this episode as well. So that was indeed a much needed sort of emotional growth for Apare, if you will. And then, of course, it was actually Kosuma in the end that brought him out of his gut, um, you know, brought him out of the rudder. Uh, why didn't, why did I expect anything else, right? Kosuma is the only one who's been a pare up to this point. He's the only one who's close enough to him. And, um, you know, he, he's the one who can, who can actually, um, you know, get him back on his feet, right? I did like what they were trying to portray there in that scene, you know, talking about, hey, technology is the thing that drives progress, it's, it's what drives us, and, you know, it's an amazing thing, apart, you shouldn't give up on this, etc, etc. I do like the premise of what they tried to do there, I just think that, once again, it was executed a little bit too hastily and too crudely. Um, I don't think we, we got enough dialogue at that point, or we didn't get enough, uh, a sort of like a pre-setting for Kosume himself to allow us to see his transition into oh yeah these are pretty awesome things technology is awesome I'm learning about a lot of different things that I couldn't have done or couldn't have learned of when I was back in the Far East back in Japan living my um, carefree life right I wish they would have actually dropped a little bit more uh, hints and whatnot as at Kosume's own attitude changed towards all this, and also you know sort of extend that conversation a bit longer with Apare saying that uh, again you know, technology is amazing and um, how how Kosume's own sort of attitude towards it changed completely, and that's why he's choosing to support Apare and all that. I feel like that would make it much more heartfelt. For this episode, and for what was actually portrayed on screen, I felt like it was just sort of kind of going through the emotions, right? Going through the emotions, I mean. And so that also makes uh, Apare's later speech towards the other racers feel kind of 
empty and vague because I don't think the emotional impact of it, the 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 um the what can I say, the the weight of the situation or whatnot was not um was not uh, adequately transferred from Kosume to a part right like his hopes, his expectations, and um you know turning it into a sort of determination factor for a part. Right? I feel like that part really could have been expanded on a little bit more. But um, it is what it is, right? This is, you know, not exactly the most high budget of anime, and not exactly the most um, highest critically acclaimed of original works or whatnot. But um, I'm just saying, I, I would have really loved it if they went a little bit further with that. Um, you know, I, I I draw a parallel to Doctor Stone uh, with, for this particular work because it fa it uses a similar premise, right? Uh, Doctor Stone is also you know, Senku, the, the main character of Dr. Stone, is also someone who was very scientifically inclined and uh, able to use his brain and whatnot to solve out all the situations here, right? But throughout the entire manga, you know, even though it is also kind of ridiculous and, um, you know, kind of a comedy and, and so on and so forth, intermixed with some hard science, you know, we, we actually do get a lot of that dialogue there, um, where uh, people are gradually being convinced by by what he represents right what technology represents and what science represents and how it better uh it further enriches their lives and why they want they choose to believe in this and they choose to support the main character so i would have liked to see the same thing utilized here as well once again i'm not sure if perhaps the manga itself went through this entire process and the anime simply cut it out or or whatnot but um i do feel it was kind of lacking in that regard and Alright, so that's basically it, right? I mean, next episode, they're going to fix up all their cars, jerry-rig a lot of different things. Um, I thought that they were going to maybe uh, actually be extracting parts from different cars and then putting it into one car. But it seems that every single one of them is going to you know, be fixed in some way, right? And apparently the race will still go on, even though, to me, it was kind of... Um, I, it kind of felt out of place like maybe rescue Sophia first and and you know understand like what that what you know uh take care of that situation and then talk about how okay we're still going to continue to race and everybody should should attend and we got to decide a winner or something like that i feel like that was not the exact right time and place for that but again a pare is a pare he was never one for political correctness or reading the mood in any sense so i guess that's just him Anyways, that's it for episode 11 of A Parliament, and I'll see you guys in the next one as well. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.